There are a lot of artists that affected me and influenced me as I was growing up. I definitely have to think that the first major one was Amy Grant. Now I grew up in the church and you know my mom pretty much only played Christian music at home. So a lot of it was really cheesy, a lot of it I didn't like, but then she started playing this artist named Amy Grant and I remember her first album Age to Age that I listened to and then later on Unguarded and some of those other bigger albums um, throughout the 80s. I like I was like wow like she seems like someone that's very like grounded very mild-mannered but yet she's creating this awesome music that can speak to people and she's doing it in her own way she's got her own niche and she's not afraid to like try different styles you know in the early 90s she totally went pop and that that went well and then she went back to her country roots and you know of course she had a whole bunch of holiday albums which i loved too so Amy Grant has definitely influenced me, especially in my younger years, you know, not really as I got older when I got into real pop music. Uh, then I definitely, one of my favorites was Wham, have to admit it, okay? First concert I ever went to was Wham. Um, and especially George Michael. I thought he had an amazing voice. Uh, I just loved, you know, I loved the pop style of their music. It was fun. It didn't make you have to think too much. You know, it was just, it was fun to sing along with all of that stuff. And so I loved their music, but then I really started noticing a lot of women coming out in the eighties and really doing different things. People like, of course, Madonna, people like Cyndi Lauper, people like Sheena Easton, Laura Branigan, uh, then eventually Suzanne Vega, Tracy Chapman. Uh, as I got older, I really started to appreciate those female artists that weren't just like out there for shock value or weren't just out there for pop, you know, just fun music, but people like Suzanne Vega, people like Tracy Chapman, people like Sean Colvin, people like that who were really writing amazing lyrics, trying to say something with their music. And then of course, moving into the nineties with all of the Lilith Fair people, the Indigo Girls and Sarah McLaughlin and Jewel and Paula Cole, those were just always playing in my house because I just loved what they stood for. I loved the kind of music that they were creating and they were what I aspired to and probably why eventually my goal was to help indie artists to get more airplay as female artists and you know, try to reach the ranks of those female artists that really inspired me from a young age.